Well, it's one year since Russia's illegal annexation of four Ukrainian territories, a decision that sparked almost universal condemnation. Today, President Putin defended the move and claimed that Russia had become stronger for it. But Russia is not even in full control of the four region it claims to have annexed. Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporizhia and Kherson. And more than a year and a half after its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia appears no closer to winning the war there. From Moscow, our Russia editor Stephen Rosenberg wrote Steve Rosenberg reports. A year ago, he proclaimed the annexation of four Ukrainian regions. Today, Vladimir Putin said Russia had become stronger as a result. Together, we can meet any challenge. Together, they streamed towards Red Square, a highly organized show of support for the annexation that only two countries have recognized, Syria and North Korea. It all belongs to us now, Yelena says. We restored part of our historic motherland. But it's Ukrainian territory, I say. It's Russia, only Russia. Flags distributed, cue the patriotic concert. In the absence of victory, this was all about creating the impression of victory, a dizzying sense of achievement, so the Russians believe that the last 19 months of pain haven't been in vain. So the Kremlin tells them that their country has got bigger, stronger, when in reality, the invasion of Ukraine has gone badly wrong for Russia. One recent example, the Ukrainian missile attack on Russia's Black Sea Fleet headquarters in occupied Crimea. It showed how Moscow struggling to defend strategically important targets. But there's no change of plan. In Ukraine, Russia fights on. The army says it's recruited an extra 300,000 volunteers. President Putin is pushing on with the war and confrontation with the West. But how far is Putin prepared to go now to achieve the victory? To the end, to whatever that end is, he's not, he's not going to give up. He's not going to waver. He's not going to blink. He's not going to make concessions. So Putin's waiting for the West to blink first? Absolutely. He's waiting it out. The Kremlin leader apparently believing that time is on Russia's side. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.